Okay, supposing we are asked to find the zeros and give the multiplicity of each for this particular function on the left, okay? Right here. Okay, so we're asked to find the zeros. Now, this 2, the coefficient of 2 right there at the start, okay? This is not going to affect the zeros. It will stretch the graph vertically by a factor of 2. In fact, if you want to have a look at the graph without that 2 coefficient, here we go. There it is. See, again, I've taken the 2 away. Let's take that again. There it is with the 2 in front, the coefficient of 2. Here it is without. So it's not affecting the zeros. It's just stretching it vertically. Okay, so write the x squared. That has a 0 of 0, but it's squared, so it has a multiplicity of 2. Okay? Right, we also have x equals negative 3 as a 0, right there. And can you see that just has a multiplicity of 1? Okay? We also have x equals positive 2 as a 0. And if you can see there, there it is, positive 2. But again, this has a multiplicity of 2 because it's squared. Finally, x equals positive 1 is a 0. I don't know if I'm going to just squeeze up there. There it is. And can you see this has a multiplicity of 3? There's 3 there. Think of that as x minus 1, another x minus 1, and another x minus 1. So positive 1 three times. Okay, right, let's take a look at this. So if we were to graph it, okay, so there's the zeros and the multiplicities. Now, how does that affect the graph? Well, let's take a look at a multiplicity of 1, okay? If we just have one solution, it crosses through at that zero, straight through. There it is. There's our negative 3. It crosses straight through. If we have multiplicities of 2, so the 0 is a multiplicity of 2, and this positive 2 is a multiplicity of 2. Well, that's where the graph touches and turns or bounces, depending on what phrase you want to use. And here we go. Here's the 0 of 0, multiplicity 2, so it touches and turns. Here's positive 2. Again, multiplicity of 2, so it touches and turns. Finally, we have x equals 1 as a 0 with a multiplicity of 3. Well, this also crosses. So here's the positive 1 with a multiplicity of 3. But can you see it flattens out? Okay? So anything with a, any 0 with odd multiplicity will cross through the x-axis. Okay? Any 0 with an even multiplicity okay, will touch and turn. But again, just take a look at that multiplicity of 3. It has flattened out slightly, even though it's crossing. Now let's take a look at some other examples of this. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so here we go. x plus 1. So that will have a 0 of negative 1. There you go. It's crossing straight through at negative 1. Here's the x squared graph. This has a 0 of 0, but multiplicity 2, because it's squared. And that's why, can you see, it touches and turns at 0. Finally, the x cubed graph has 0 of 0, but multiplicity 3. And that's why you can see the 0 at 0. But can you see how it flattens out? It's still crossing because the multiplicity is 3, but it flattens out. And that's why, if we go back to the start, the graph looks like this. Okay, right here. Now then, just as an extra aside, let's take a look at this. So, if we have the x squared at the start, okay, x 0, multiplicity of 2. We've also got an x plus 3, so that's just 1x, okay, right here, up here, if I can just underline that, single x. The next one, okay, right there, that's x minus 2 squared, so that's an x squared. And this right here, an x minus 1 cubed, so that's an x cubed. If I put a little 1 there, can you see this will turn out to be x to the 8, okay? In other words, it is a even exponent, which means it will, and it's positive coefficient, so it will rise to the left and rise to the right, which you can't see this is doing, okay? This is rising to the left and rising to the right. So end behavior, as x goes to negative infinity, can you see the graph is rising, okay? The graph will be going to positive infinity. As x goes to positive infinity, the graph is also rising on this side, so it will go to positive infinity on this side, okay? So that's just some little end behavior which we might have covered before.